here we go boys and girls is the time has finally arrived to start a brand new save and now it's time for the big reveal let's reveal what i'm about to be doing so i have never done this sort of thing on the channel before so completely new it might go really badly or it might go really well so in this series we will be exploring the deepest darkest depths on non of non-league so the task is simple take a team from tier 10 to premier league champions we're not going to worry about the champions league if we can pick win one of them one of the european trophies absolutely fine but that's not the main goal the main goal is to win the premier league trophy and now it is time to reveal the club i will be managing british air race i know quite a funky name but believe it or not their stadium pretty much 10 minutes from Heathrow airport so absolutely a beautiful club um i have managed them before on twitch um didn't really enjoy it that much because i sort of fell out of love uh, with um, streaming but there it goes second time managing british airways so i welcome you to flight to the prem <laughs> Welcome to part one of Flight to the Prem, where I try and take British Airways from tier 10 of the non-league pyramid and try and reach and get them to the Premier League and hopefully win it. But all said and done, let's take a look and let's take a look around the club first. So as you can see, British Airways have hired myself, Jack Clarkworthy. They have today confirmed the appointment of myself as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football. I mean, I don't think eyebrows have been raised. So let's be honest, no one's really heard of British Airways unless you um, happen to live near the Heathrow Airport, which you may have been to their stadium. I very much doubt that. So, obviously, they do play at the Orchard. I think um, I did do a little bit of research. They do share that ground with, I believe, Bedfont Sports. I think something like that. But we, we can have a check. David Blackmore, never heard of him, was considered to be favourite for the job, but it's unclear whether the club favourite club, whether you were along. Of course they did. They knew I was going to be their, their new manager. Why Why would they say that? So, club reputation at the moment is half a star, which, uh, let's be honest, that's, uh, that's pretty accurate for a club our size. Director Football, Finley Barrett, how good is he? Not well, probably down, down this sort of level, probably pretty good. Our assistant manager, Stacey Bowes. What a silly name that is. Uh, besides, that's a girl's name. We should probably... Um, can we give you a nickname? Probably not yet. Founded in 1974. So, relatively... Um, a, I would say a new club. Less than 50 years old, actually. 50 years old this year. So, um, that's a big one. So, hopefully we can... Um, I doubt we're going to see the 100-year celebration. Is it safe? I, hopefully it doesn't go on for that long. But you never know. So hopefully uh, by the 60 years celebration, so 10 years, 10 seasons on, I reckon we'll be in the EFL. Hopefully that's if uh, things go to plan. As you can see, we do play at the Orchard. 2,000 capacity stadium. I'm not sure how much um, seating it is and standing. Uh, poor training facilities. Obviously that will be stuff that will get improved as the save goes on. We're only um, competing in the esoteric recordings division one challenge cup this year obviously fa cup you enter in at uh, tier nine or tier five in the uh english non-league pyramid so finances they're fine i haven't really looked at them yet but we can we can make do with that major prediction is 18 so not the best at the moment but i haven't really seen the state of the squad um judging by this it doesn't look good. As you can see, we do have one real player, Spencer Moore, who looks absolutely fantastic down this level. Hopefully, he can stay with us for quite a few, quite a long time. Hopefully, I wouldn't say he'll be good enough for the EFL because I'm sure by the time we get there, he'll probably be retired. But hopefully, he can. Hopefully, I'd like to see him as my assistant manager when we get to a bit further down the line. But but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so Henry Fox is our chairperson, obviously not the chairperson in real life, obviously they don't have that on here, but he wants us to work within the wage budget, I I think that might be doable, obviously we haven't, we haven't really seen it, 
them. Finish mid-table, that's fine. Obviously, but the first season is probably usually the hardest now this sort of um, in this sort of league. Hopefully, if we can get through the first season, I think we'll look for a promotion in the second. Reach the FA Vars proper, so obviously I'm not sure how many qualifiers we have to play for that. Be competitive in the Challenge Cup, obviously they, they do. So main our main thing is probably just worry about the league. If we can reach the first round of the FA Vars, absolutely fantastic obviously if we could win the challenge cup absolutely brilliant but i'm not too bothered about that so supporter expectations remain in the combined counties division one so they want us to avoid relegation basically i think that's pretty doable no we're not going to arrange an interest squad arrange a meeting with batsum staff i tend to do that usually once a month i think once a week gets a bit repetitive we'll do just a, do a quick save just make sure no one nothing corrupts all right let's take a look at the squad before we you know what we'll just confirm these uh expectations that's all fine my contract does expire at the end of this season so it could be a short save if they don't renew it which i very, i'm fairly sure we do we, we've got a lot of players out of contract so let's take a look at the squad we'll skip that for now so Let's sort it by ability. As you can see, Spencer Moore is our best player. Right mid. So I think I think at this level, we're not really gonna be using these fancy formations like Gaga Press, Tiki Tack. I think we have to play just a bog standard wing play 4-4-2, I think. Obviously, I know we've got a attacker mid, three stars, but he can also play in centre mid if needs to be. We can also Retraining, but we do have a, a fairly decent left mid, Ryan Coyle. Um, obviously, not a real player with it. Spencer Moore is literally the only real player. He's um, actually came through Sheffield United's youth academy, then went on to Ben Font Sports, so hasn't really moved very far at all. So he's done the um, tour around the London League, found his way to British Airways. So, pretty good player, I think. Um, what's his good county league? What's that? I don't, I don't know what that is. I think that's. Tier 9? Is that Tier 9? What tier are we? Oh, what tier are we? I, I don't know what tier we are. I think we're, we're Tier 10, but I'm not sure what sort of um, league we're in. So, obviously, this is the league we're actually in. The combined counties league, Division 1. So, 42 games in total. That's quite a lot, because we're a semi-professional team, so... It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So at the moment, this is the squad we're working with. So we have got 13 players. How? What should, what's the budget looking like? Obviously, we've got £1,000 in the transfer budget. We're not going to be using that. I can't move it yet because we're not far enough into the season. Obviously, £6 wage budget available. Is How much are... What's the average price for a team this sort of size? Probably about... I'd say you're talking at least 20 quid. If we could get to the range budget up to around 200, 300 spare range budget, I think that will give us uh, room to sign at least 10 more players. But at the moment, let's try and figure out what sort of formation we're going to be playing. I think, obviously, we've got a right mid, left mid. I think probably a strike, uh, probably a, yeah, probably a four at the back system. Um, got how much how many defenders do we actually have obviously we've got a right back adam moore obviously he looks pretty decent decent potential i'm not sure if he'll be uh, good enough for the like efl if he ever stays with us obviously he is only 24 um still quite young but getting on a bit um uh, got two center backs very pretty young both with a uh, five star potential but um current ability wise not very good, but we're not really going to worry about that for now because there's obviously room for improvement. I uh, don't have any left backs, so that's uh, quite alarming. That is then right mid. So obviously we've got Stephen Harrison, Spencer Moore. That's that's fine. No, I mean I can I can deal with that for the right hand side. Left mid. Um, we've got quite a few players who can actually play on the left. Obviously Coyle, 
got Reddy, who is, is a left winger, but can also is a competent left mid, so that's fine. Then we've got Steve and Graham, who does not look good at all, so we probably won't be using him this um, season. We'll probably end up getting, just getting uh, released, I think. I don't know about that, but we might be able to release him. Then we've also got this guy who does look pretty good um, at attacking mid, so he's probably not going to be using that, but... He can also play centre mid if he needs to drop back, so that's fine. Then we've only got we've only got one striker, which um, is alarming, but I'm sure we'll get plenty more faces in before the start of the season. You know what? Let's take a look at the, the development set to see if we've got any decent youngsters in there. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of um, five star potential. A lot of them. Is there any decent currency ones? They're all one and a half stars, one star. So I think best uh, player to come through probably Cardo and Corona. We'll probably use quite a lot of these throughout the season. Any decent under 18? Some um, resuse potentially. Obviously, these guys with the grayed out stars here, not good enough yet. But you never know with this game. They might be. They might have a. A brilliant run in the team at some point probably not this season probably the next season but these guys i probably might uh, i might call some of these guys up particularly the two young strikers maybe one of the uh maybe one of the center backs maybe yeah pro probably some of them. i expect most of them will get called up at some point in the season but not just yet obviously we'll play that card um before the season starts obviously there is a um, room for transfer business obviously i can't move it yet but we will in the near future but yeah what yes we will create the tactic now we will do a i mean obviously my assistant wants me to do a route one we're not going to do that this low in the english pyramid so we are going to be playing a 4-4-2 obviously we will get some other wing play systems loaded up so do a 4 3, three. not that we're going to be playing a 4 3 because we don't have any defensive mids there we'll uh, just do a, a, four, a 4 2 3 one we'll get that loaded up as well i think that's probably a good system to have considering we do have a, a very good attacking mid down in the squad so obviously we will train him up to be a centre mid as well. I'm not sure what. Probably a box to box, but probably not ball winning midfielder. But we'll see what his best position is nearer the time. Obviously, we will um, obviously um, drop quite a few friendlies. Hopefully, we'll try and do a bit of a experimentation. Obviously, I'm not going to bother showing you any of the friendlies because that is not important. So, I think with that being it, obviously any transfers i do sign i will reveal them in tomorrow's episode so i think i will see you all tomorrow where the serious stuff begins where hopefully i don't get sapped in my first season if you have enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more then for manager videos and thank you very much for watching